most exciting stuff for me is actually what we did in a uh, working group uh, from uh, a real time uh, audio recording. Because imagine, instead of uh, us, you know, getting together, arguing, you can just record what's going on and get results. So today I'm here attending conferences, uh, presentations by Dr. Igor Linkov and Valentina Prado about MCDA and how you can incorporate that with risk analysis. Many presentations that we see here uh, in the inference are driven kind of uh, bottom up. Uh, it's data to decision. This session is really about decision to data. We really need to start with decision makers view to help uh, them to make decision and see the right data. So we discuss in this session different way of doing that um, with linkage to uh, scenario analysis, uh, decision analysis, risk assessment. Environmental decisions are very complex. There are a lot of conflicting and competing criteria and you can't necessarily reduce them to a, to a single metric evaluation. And so that would be uh, my takeaway of today's presentations were that if you ask simple questions of complex systems, you get complex answers, and you can't you can't expect to reduce a complex system to a simple numerical input and output. You need to have cognitive understanding of decision makers' need, uh, and second, you need to quantify it. You just cannot say there's a pros. You really need to quantify it and have a quantitative model for that, and you need to marry. Uh, optimization models with cognitive models to really help decision makers across broad spectrum of emerging needs, emerging areas that require decisions right away. But one thing I liked about the LCA and MCDA was how it applied to, you know, environmental things, but also it applies to my work too in emergency planning because there's always going to be different stakeholders that have competing interests, so it's it's important to know that people out there are considering that in all fields and I think that's something that's really interesting that you can apply to pretty much anything. I really like the idea that um, we can combine behavioral science with kind of engineering perspective. I'm sure there will be a, a lot of ideas and kind of paradigm shifts from my own research in terms of framing a question from a decision perspective versus a an analytic tool perspective, and uh, I'm going to try and use that idea to reorient my own research questions. We live in information overload, and even though we try to do a lot of number crunching and visualize data, we often visualize irrelevant data. So knowing what decision makers need, knowing how they see the data, how they see the world would help in making good decision, and screen out irrelevant data and noise.